Rumel added barcodes to all new issued regular stamps, and regular stamps without the barcodes will no longer be valid after 31st July 2023. This will be the first time that Rumel invalidated stamps since the decimalization in 1971. As the date is approaching, in this episode, let's discuss which stamps can you use in the UK after 31st July. Last year, I made a video discussing the barcode stamps when Rumel announced their news of the invalidation. If you haven't watched it yet, I recommend you to do so. Originally, the implementation date was set for 31st January, but Rumel later decided to postpone it by six months. And I also state that the pattern on the stamp is not actually a barcode, but a data matrix but I will continue to call it a barcode, as that's the terminology used by Rumel. Okay, now let's explore which stamps you can and cannot use after 31st July. Rumel used the word regular stamps, which actually refers to definitive stamps. On the Q&A session of the page, it is clear that non-barcode dates matching definitive stamps and country definitive stamps will be invalid. Matching definitives are the definitive stamps with the sculpted Queen's portrait designed by Arnold Machin, also including the regional matchings and the double head stamps. Country definitives refers to the definitive stamps featuring national iconic patterns and the small cameo head, which have gradually replaced the regional matchings since the year 1999. And additionally, the Olympic definitives issued in 2012 will be invalidated too, as they are eligible for swap out. And of course, the new definitive stamps will be barcoded. Special issue or commemorative stamps will remain valid as postage, and the new ones will not be barcoded. Although the Christmas stamps will be barcoded, the non barcode Christmas stamps will still be valid after 31st July. Initially, Rumel had planned to invalidate the non barcode Christmas stamps too, but they changed their mind. I believe the reason is that it's hard to distinguish between Christmas stamps and other commemorative stamps. For instance, the Christmas stamps from 2003 featured the same of as sculptures and did not have a distinctly christmas appearance. I haven't found any mention from Rumel regarding the stamps from Smellers Sheets, which are greeting stamps that always come with a personalized name postage label. I believe they will also remain valid after 31st July, even though some of them have a definitive size of 24 and 21 mm. Post and Go stamps or the stamps from self-service machine will be valid, as it is stated in the swap out terms and conditions. The above information is what I'm certain about, as most of it has official explanations, but it does not conclude the discussion. There are some gray areas that might lead to controversies. Personally, I am not particularly interested in testing the validity of the stamps in the grey area, but I think it's intriguing to explore which stamps will remain valid. First, let's think about which stamps we can use now or before 31st July. It's clear that all stamps issued after 1971 are valid as postage because that's the year of the decimalization. However, the stamps with face value in old pennies and shillings are not valid. But there were also some decimal stamps issued before the decimal day in order to allow everyone to get used to them. They are the matching definitives issued on 17th June 1970, and additionally, one pound stamps bearing the head of Queen Elizabeth II that were issued before the introduction of decimal currency are also valid as postage. There were not a lot of one pound stamps issued between 1952 and 1970. 
One example was the Machin stamp issued in 1969, and the other was the Castle Defensive, which was first issued in 1955. These stamps had been reissued several times with different watermarks and printed by different printers. I would say there are just two QE second predecessor one pound stamps, one castle and one matching. However, if you consider it more seriously, you could argue that there are four, six, or even more. Anyway, the 1955 one pound castle stamp is the oldest stamp that is still valid for use as postage. I have a one pound castle stamp that was probably issued in 1967 as it doesn't have a watermark and I didn't spend a lot of money on it. The 1955 one has a significant catalog price. Now, let's move to the future. After 31st July, all non barcode defensive stamps will be invalidated. But there are some gray area since the border between defensive stamps and commemorative stamps is not so clear. For example, the one pound gold embossed stamp issued for the 50th anniversary of Meiqing is a subject of debate whether it is defensive or commemorative. In my opinion, it is defensive and will likely be invalidated. However, if you consider this stamp as a commemorative, then the double head stamp issued for the 150th anniversary of the Penny Black can also be seen as commemorative. Also, there are stamps for the 50th anniversary of the welding stamps. Are they commemorative stamps or the continuation of welding defensives? Well, I think they will still be valid as I haven't found any mention from Rumel regarding the decimal weldings. What truly confused me are the Castle series and the 10 pound Britannia. There was a decimal castle series that ran from the late 1980s to the 1990s featuring the castles from the original castle series along with a small cameo hat. The 10 pound Britannia was issued in 1993 and is the highest denomination stamp of the UK. They are eligible for swap out which I initially thought meant they would be invalidated. However, there is an article on the Novik Vitalik's blog that suggests the stamp will still be valid for postage. I discussed this issue with Novik Vitalik's on Twitter, and it seems there is a complex problem surrounding it. Well, I will include the link to the article in the description as it is definitely worth reading. What is even more interesting is that there is a set of stamps issued for the 50th anniversary of castle defensives. It's also controversial whether they are defensives or commemoratives. The stamps will probably still be valid. If so, the predecessor one pound castle stamp will possibly be valid too, as it looks similar to the 2005 ones. So it's possible that the 1955 one pound castle stamp will still be the oldest postage valid stamp. If not, the title will be held by the Auster 71 painting stamps, which are the first decimal commemorative stamps. I hope you find this discussion useful. We also took this opportunity to summarize the types of Rumel stamps. Now you have the following options. To use up all the non-barco date defensive stamps by 31st July. To keep them for your collection or participate in the swap out scheme to obtain the barcoded ones. Currently, there is no deadline for the swap out. If you use the non-barcoded stamps after 31st July, you may face a surcharge. I will leave all the related links in the description. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and follow me on social media if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.